Welcome to the Stepper Online Installation Tutorial Video. Today, we will provide you with detailed information on how to properly install the T6 series servo motors. Firstly, open the product package, you will see the following items. 1000 WAC servo motor 3000 revolutions per minute 3.19 newton meters 17 bit encoder IP65. 1000 WAC servo motor driver. We note that this little white hook is used as a tool to facilitate line entry, so please don't lose it. 1.5 meters motor extension cable with IP65 aviation connector. 1.5 meters encoder extension cable with IP65 aviation connector. Servo driver debugging cable. USB 2.0 to serial 232 rupees adapter with 1 meter cable converter, option. Need purchase separately. You don't have to buy this if you already own it. Chapter 1. How to assemble T6 series servo motors. Step 1. Connect the power cable. Please note that the power supply is off at this point. The voltage of the power supply is 220 VAC 1 pH. Step 2. Connect the CEST1M5 to the encoder cable. You are now seeing a cross section of the two interfaces shown. When you start to connect, note that the two white dots are in a straight line and the connection is successful. Tighten the protective sleeve after connecting in place. Step 3. To connect the CMST1M5 to the motor cable. You are now seeing the cross section of the two interfaces. When you start to connect, notice that the two white dots are in a straight line. You can connect successfully. Tighten the protective sleeve after connecting in place. Step 4. Connect the CEST1M5 to the drive T6-1000 rupees. Please note the shape of the interface. Step 5. Connect CMST1M5 with the driver. Please connect it correctly according to the correspondence of letters. Step 6. Check the installation effect. Make sure all parts of the wiring is intact. Turn on the power. The drive T6-1000 rupees will be displayed like this. Chapter 2. Drive T6-1000 rupees panel commissioning procedure. Step 1. Make sure the device is well connected and power on. Step 2. Press set to enter the mode selection interface. Press mode to select the mode. When the screen displays a FJOG, press set to enter the motor trial run mode. Step 3. Press left. The screen displays SRVON. At this time continue to hold down the up. Will make the motor speed has been increased to the maximum speed set by PA 6.04 and continue to run in the positive direction. Release the up key immediately decelerate and stop. At this time, press and hold down. The motor speed will increase to the maximum speed set in PA 6.04 and continue to run in the reverse direction. Then release the down key to decelerate and stop immediately. Step 4. After the test run, press set to return to the selection state. Chapter 3. Debugging Software Trial Run. The software interface can be set PA 6.04, PA 6.25, PA 0.04 these parameters. At the same time you can click on the expansion can be set to the appropriate gain value. Set up a parameter. Enter to send the parameters. When the driver is not enabled, click on the servo enable in this interface. The red off will change to green on. Click on the counter clockwise or clockwise can be pointing at this time. Long by the time will be set to pointing at the speed of uniform operation. Try not to run a long distance to prevent the crash.
Finally, thank you for watching this tutorial video. If you encounter any problems during the installation process, please feel free to contact our customer service team, we will be happy to help you.